Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Master Slice and uh, I just wanted to say something. You know, a lot of people, they use the public, public defenders and um, some people are thinking, should I use a public defender or should I go with a regular attorney? Should I pay for one? <clears throat> I just got off the phone with my attorney uh, yesterday. And uh, he told me, he said, Mr. Sice, I really believe that your case is defendable. I was like, wow. After having to explain to this man, I don't know how many times, and everybody else in Colorado, they f finally get it. They finally understand what I'm going through. So, should you buy into paying a public, I mean a private attorney, or should you use a public defender if you qualify for one? And the answer to that question really is, is you. How good are you at telling the truth <laughs> in this whole situation? Because a lot of people, they get in trouble and they want to lie their, their way out of, out of a out of a charge but after explaining how these charges came about and this whole situation I told him I was like dude I had to stop telling people this story because the chicks were getting pissed off they want to like kick her ass and I don't want her to get hurt so I had to stop telling people why I, I got these charges on me but after he told me that I believe your case is defendable, I was like, thank God, thank God. He, he really understands that we can, we can, we can, we can do this. I can prove my point, and when the jury understands what it is that happened, <laughs> they're going to be like, Especially with, with, especially when the plaintiff opens her, starts her opening statement with lies, with straight up lies, and I'm able to prove it, I'm able to prove it, and, and I showed him how we can prove it, and how she lied, <laughs> and it's funny because she didn't even have to. She just straight up lied because that's what she does best. And I'm just glad that uh, she was able to do what she does best, which is lie. So, do you go to the public defender or do you go private attorney? Really, it's all about um, what, what you can do. This public defender has done a lot for me. Like, more than I probably would have gotten out of a private attorney and after, this case has been going on for way over a year I was like dude I've never been a threat to this woman I don't know how many times she's attacked me and I've never hit her I was like the last time I was with her she punched me twice 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 in the face BAM I'm like that's all that's all you, you can is that all you got I hit myself harder than that. <laughs> I'm like, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> so I put our son, I was feeding our son at the time, a bottle. And she punched me in the face twice. <laughs> what are you doing, you crazy woman? <laughs> Anyways, I put our son down very gently and I told her, I don't know what you expect from me, but I can't be in a relationship like that. I can't be in this type of relationship. And that was the last time we were together. And that was like three months after she had gotten me arrested before. Dom domestic violence charges against a household member, they were uh, dropped. They were all dropped because uh, my public defender back then was able to get the truth out of her. <laughs> this is Master Sykes. Peace out.